Should a theater have a venue? Whew. Only if you want to um, be master of your own fate, um, spend your life trying to raise money. Uh, there's, there's, there's so many goods and bads to the, the, that whole equation. Um, this, you know, we, we've been in league with uh, Theatre Gargantua and Teatre de Francaise trying to pull together this thing. I mean, it's, it's a long, torturous journey to try to, try to get a, a venue together. And there's, there's huge pluses and minuses with it. Um, but What are some of the pluses? The pluses, for example, uh, you can do, uh, you can have uh, a set season. So if there's a three companies, we can sit down and negotiate, and then all of a sudden I can set up a pattern that you know every year, right? September, November, February, Obsidian's got a show. That means you build in loyalty of people to come. They're coming to just one place. They understand how it works. They can be invested in the place. Uh, you can sell subscriptions. Mm -hmm. you, you are not spending an inordinate amount of time wondering, can I get this space? Can I get that space? Oh, I have to change my design, right? Oh, I got to go upstairs at Berkeley where all you can see is old chewing gum on the bottom of the seats. And it looks like it's a decrepit after hours club that's going broke, right? You can, you can have all of that in, under your control. The downside is mm, operating, operating money, like just running the building is a, is, is a, is a killer. Mm. So year and a half, man, I, I've just got the ball started and I'm leaving the next person can take it on. Here are the keys. Here are the keys. <laughs> Drive it hard. <laughs>